Right, Randy Christensen here at 428, lot 428, 1700 Robbins Road, Grand Haven. Trying to figure out what all needs to be done before Brent can show up to install these two windows. Uh, there is a slight sag. Um, first thing is you've got to send somebody on out here to uh, re-sister on a 2x6, probably about 36 inches on in from underneath the trailer. Uh, it looks like it's, it's, oh, it's only rotted about 12 inches or so back. So if you sister two 36 inches back, that should be more than strong enough to support the subfloor. Uh, you've also got a headboard here that needs to be probably sister two. And then there may be even one more down in there over to the left that I can't see from here on. But subfloor appears to be bad about eight, 10 inches on in. So while the person's doing that, same guy should also be doing gecko roof or ponding roof, any, any type of, uh, Pour on seal based roof up top of here. Trowel, uh, just cover it on up. That was what was done before. I'm not sure if the leak is coming back into here and working its way down through the window, but it's it still needs to be done. Just to guarantee the work. Same exact person while they're here. While that same exact project is taking place, this paneling needs to be removed. Uh, should be safely undone. If it's unsalvageable, homeowner is aware they just want it replaced. They'll they'll paint it or whatever to match the future. The linoleum has to be removed, stripped back. Once the linoleum is stripped back, approximately uh, one sheet of OSB, one inch thick, needs to go back at least, I'd say two feet or so, cut back, and then recessed over those new joists that are, that are uh, sistered in. Once that happens, tear out all linoleum, replace as per contract. Uh, once the linoleum's in and then the, the paneling's back on, uh, then it should be safe for Brent to do his job.